Hey guys. Okay. Um, this is just right after the last video with the pineapple cards and I thought I would do another one. Um, or actually a couple more. <laughs> so, um, I actually kind of forgot that I have more than 15 minutes now. I cannot get used to that. So, that's so awesome. Um, okay. So, I should just keep going with that one. But anyway. So, we're using this little unbranded set. You're so sweet. Thanks a bunch. It's your birthday. Relax. So, I wanted to use this one and this one, but it was a little bit too large. So, I'm going to use this one and the word relax. Okay, so I'm still using the uh, same die. And by the way, um, I did tell you that I would find the stamp I used a few minutes ago on the other video. And it's by Stamping Bella. It's called Tropical Squidgies. So, I knew it was around here somewhere, but um, just couldn't quite locate it. So, alright. Um, so, we're just going to stamp this little pineapple there. And we're going to ink it up with... I think I'm going to go with, no, I better go with the brighter ink. Um, the Memento Dandelion ink for the bottom portion. And maybe this Pear Tart for the top portion. But just a little green. And um, this was the that one. And I think I'm going to hit it just a little bit of brown this rich cocoa just right around the edges just ever so slightly we'll see how that turns out eh, okay so I got a little on that edge so now I guess I'm gonna have to put a little bit on the other edge just so it looks the same all right so I'm gonna go back over it with with the yellow again with the green and I will try to dab one little tiny brown spot on the other side Ugh, the brown is not working over there alright I think it's on there now <laughs> well alright so it's shaded to that side it's not I can't seem to get it on that side maybe we'll use some pencils or something like that to uh, to work on it okay so our base is going to be kind of a pink color and I, so I'm going to use like a pinkish color to do the relax stamp there and we're just using this Simon Says ink um, called Hollyhock so hopefully once I show you the base it'll make sense I think. Okay. I feel like that, I don't know, sometimes with stamping um, Simon Says ink, you have to let it like absorb. It looks better after a few minutes. I don't really know why, but it does. So, okay. So we're going to leave that for right now. Then we're going to stamp our inside. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and ticket punch this. It's an old Stampin' Up! stamp uh, punch. I don't know if they... Hmm, do they still make that? I don't know. I'm not sure if they still make it or not, but it just creates um, just kind of an interesting corner. So, just so inside. I feel like sometimes I kind of forget about the inside, honestly. So, um, trying not to do that. Alright, so we're going to use this Impression Obsession stamp called, um, well, there's the number, E17217. It says, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. So, words to live by, right? Okay. So, I'm just going to put that right in the center. There we go. Whoopsie. Still had relax on there. That won't work. <laughs> okay. So what color are we going to ink that with? I feel like that's a little bit crooked. Hang on. Okay. That looks better. Um, hmm. uh, we'll just... I guess we'll try that, that pink ink again. Since it's going to be against the pink background card, maybe that'll be okay. Mm 
Okay. Decent, but got to do it again because of that corner. Okay, that is good. So we're just going to kind of lay that to the side. Take that bad boy off of there. And let me oh, find somewhere to lay this without without it crashing down. That is the goal. Okay, so um, I went ahead and embossed this with a little pineapple embossing card. So that is really sweet and really cute. Um, and then I embossed the next layer as well with just little pineapples. Same folder. Um, so we're just going to take our taped backing off here. Kind of line that up a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Although I did think about, even though I'm gluing around the edges, um, just like I told you last time, I'm afraid that it'll raise um, in the middle or something. You know how it gets that when you get something too wet, too gluey wet, you know, and let it dry. It does that little, like, wavy thing. Um, I believe that I'm just going to put just a little bit of this here on the inside. And uh, see if we can just use some of that there instead. That way I won't have to put as much... Um, sticky glue and things there. So just a few little strips of that should hold it fine. We'll peel that away. What type of tape do you guys use like this? Um, do you have any particular, I really do like this brand, but I'm about to run out, especially in that size. I'm gonna have to either reorder that or try something new. And um, I do always kind of like to try something new, even though, I mean, I really do like it. And I guess you could say it's a favorite. Um, so I may go back to it. I don't know. About to talk myself right into that. But, um, okay. So that looks pretty cute, I guess. But we have to snazz it up just a little bit more. Um, um, hmm. I feel like we could put that there almost. I don't know. I do, I love this pineapple ribbon by Paper Artsy from um, Hobby Lobby. But I may just save that to put on the inside. I don't know. Um, yeah, we could put it, we could put it there. That's what we'll do. Okay, so we'll leave that. And that one is doing the same thing. It's kind of raising up, isn't it? All right, now, so we could add some buttons. We have buttons. Um... We have little gems. Yeah, I don't like that color. We have little pink gems. We could add some of those in the corners, maybe. Um, we could add real gems. We could, hmm. I think I kind of do like the buttons there, but I also want some of those gems. So, um, nah, I think I'm going to take off the buttons. And... And we'll just add them to the four corners right there. And then there's probably a couple big ones um, right in the center, probably. But we'll see. So do we want to add that color, which is kind of like, um, it's not a bright yellow. Or we could add this pink color, which is not... 100% that shade of pink either. I don't know. I think we're going to go with the yellow ones for now. And those are those seem a little big, so I guess there's no medium size in the uh, the yellow ones. So we'll just put a few sprinkle a few there and go ahead and add it right there. Yeah, I think I like that better. And that'll that'll I think that'll show up color-wise good enough. Um, I thought it was actually a little more muted than what it is, so that's exciting. Okay, so 
So there we go. We're, we're good with that. Um, so now let's see what a couple of these pink ones without gluing them down would look like right there. Yeah, I don't know. It's not, they're not pink enough. So I guess, I guess that's a no. So we're going to stick back with this color again and we'll just do, maybe we'll do the larger ones this time. One right there and one right there. Had some pineapple stickers somewhere, but now I don't know where those are to add to anything. All right, so I like that. All right, so now let's work on back to the center of the card while that dries a minute. And we'll just put a sticky strip down we can find the end of it here so, all right we'll find some scissors trim that okay I think that will add a lot to the inside. I was thinking this was actually washi tape when I was looking at it, but apparently it's ribbon, which I like. I probably like ribbon even more. I buy a lot of washi tape, but I really don't use it. So um, I'm going to ban myself from buying any more washi tape for right now until I can use some of this up. Even though once I get in the store, that's very hard to do, I have to say. <laughs> um, all right, so let me just put a large piece of sticky on the back of this. This I do have plenty of. Um, this seems to last quite well, so that's nice. Um, I don't use it near as much as I use the, the small stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and pop that right in the center. I think that's centered up enough. Alright, so there's our card and um, it is starting to do that little buckle thing with that little, the wet glue. So let me try to press that down a little bit. We'll try to get rid of that little bit of buckling. I do not like that at all. Alright, so now I have one other quick card. Um, I have been die cutting some of these out. Um, I did a this background just to see if I would like that better with that card, actually. Um, so I embossed the pineapple on brown. So we're just going to sticky this down as soon as we find our tape again. Okay, here it is. So we'll just sticky that part. Alrighty. Here we go. Okay, so oops. All right. Um, we're actually, you know what? I think we need to stamp. Relax again. Where are my tags? Okay, so I pre-cut these little tags or pre-punch those. Um, give me one second to get this misty back out. because I'm afraid, <laughs> since that ink is kind of, yeah, then, I don't know, I'm afraid it won't work very well If in case I need to stamp it again. So I'm really loving this Misty tool for that. You guys know I talk about it all the time. And luckily, I just realized I am not doing that pink anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, that was the last card. Whew, what were we thinking? Okay. Um, so we are going to stamp in... Hmm. How about green? How about green? That way it can go with the washi tape a little bit. We'll see if we like that. If we don't, let's go ahead, since I have an extra one, let's go ahead and stamp one in... Um, and brown as well. 
just in case we like it better. And then we can decide in a bit. I must have moved this. Jeez. Sorry, guys. Okay. Stamp that one more time. Okay. So now we have a couple of choices just in case. All right. So let's go ahead and turn our two relax sentiments over. Tape those up and go ahead and put them on our little tags so we can just do whatever. And I don't know, all these songs keep making me think of that song, you know, do you like pina coladas? Getting caught in the rain. Anyway, I can't you know I can't sing. I don't know why I try to sing on here, but anyway, that's what's usually going on in my head. Is a some kind of song while I'm talking, which may be why I get confused. <laughs> um, all right, so still don't quite know, but and then we're gonna go ahead and put this little bit of uh, washi tape down. Hopefully that will stick, and it's got little little pineapples and things on there. So we're just kind of going to use that just the same way we would use ribbon. Okay. So press, press, press. Hopefully that will stick. So trim off our excess here. Um, the boyfriend fixed me a really good pineapple drink the other night. We were sitting by a fire enjoying ourselves and... Um, um, it was quite yummy. Some new concoction he made with, um, I guess it was coconut rum, and but the juice is the, uh, I'm really a rum girl. If I have a drink, rum is usually my thing. Um, and I like fruity things. Not really much of a drinker, but um, when I do, I like a mixed drink and something fruity. That's my go-to thing. Um, so tell me what your favorite drink is, Bilo, if you um, indulge sometimes. Um, okay. I think you told me the juice was like, I can't remember. It was like three, three things, three types, but they were all like fruits. So I think that's why they were good. All right. So I think I'm going to go with the green scents. You know, it kind of brings out the green in that. So we are just going to pop this up with a little bit of foam tape. So we can have that sentiment on there with a little bit of something, something. Okay, looking good. And now we have um, some sunglasses because, you know, summer is, is here and sunglasses are a thing actually laid out some um, sunglasses to do full see, full sunglasses themed kind of cards. I don't know if I'll end up getting to that or not, but hopefully. All right. If not, we'll, we'll do it another night. Um, I guess we should anyway, because this <laughs> we don't want it to be like super, super long. Okay, so I think that one will fit in there. That little lens. They're kind of hard to place back in there. Maybe I should have made it, huh, maybe I should have done it in like a yellow or something. I don't know. I don't think I planned that quite enough. No, 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 come back. Yeah, they're very sensitive. You can't <laughs> apparently touch them too much. All right, so I'm going to, I think this was the side I should glue, right? All 
Okay. So now there's Mr. Cool Dude with his sunglasses. And he is ready for some summer sun. Um, so what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of um, this Wink of Stella pin. Maybe just right there. Just so it looks um, very glittery right on the lens. So I feel like that, I know, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll try to hold it up um, close and show you. But I do feel like it adds a little, a little something, something there. Just, uh, I don't know. I feel like glitter helps the world, you know. Glitter and color and all that crazy stuff. Okay, so let me hold it up and see if you can kind of, I don't know if you can really see the shine or not. But it, it glitters it up. It adds a little bit of something there. Okay, so now, you know I am adding some little gems, so let me put a few there. Um, this time I'm going to do some dark green, I believe, even though I swear, guys, <laughs> I still really like, you know, my big arm is in the way, I still really like these. So, I don't know, but I really want to bring out that green in the, um, in the in the tape so I think we're still gonna go with green believe that will be cute so what are your all's favorite things to stamp for the summer what are your favorite themes like flamingos or pineapples or bathing suits or what are you into Alright guys, so that ended up actually turning out pretty cute, and I wasn't quite sure it would, but um, I think it did. And I'm tempted to, even since that, the glitter, it's like whatever and that, I want to kind of glitter up. I think I want to glitter up the inside of this too. I think that would be too much. Let's just glitter up a few of them and see what we think. I don't think so. I think it's alright. So far, so good. If I can just keep it off the white, I'll be doing all right. I could use I could have used yellow glitter cardstock. I did buy a sheet of that the other day. That was cool. Um, ah, what the heck? Let's just glitter the rest of him. Why not? We'll just keep glittering. Most of the time, to be honest, I overdo things or over glitter or whatever. I can't usually stop once I get started. Do you guys ever have that problem? I don't know. Okay. But, oh, he's pretty now. He sparkles like a vampire in twilight. Okay. So... You can see that sparkle. I'll try to tilt him around. Anyway. All right, guys. So that is our card. He's Mr. Cool Dude, and he is relaxing in the summer sun. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.